Hello there my friends, my name is Riskfish and today I'm bringing you a video on Warhammer 2 Total War. Since the start of Warhammer 2, CAS started to spread out legendary lords in the campaign to provide new enemies and environments to their respective races. However, there are still several lords from Warhammer 1 who share a starting location. This is a short series of videos that will look at where the excess lords could be moved to and to give them their own starting provinces and today we'll be looking at Sigvald the Magnificent. The situation with Sigvald is that he shares his starting location with Archaon the Everchosen in the Chaos Waste. However, Archaon has already been established in both the lore and the intro cinematic as the Warriors of Chaos faction leader, and the Chaos Waste as his starting location from where he can launch his assault on the Old World. Sigvald does actually have quite a few associated locations separate to this, both in the Mortal Empires map and beyond. The Akal Wastes are located above both Norsica and Ulfalon, and is the border between the three major races of Northmen, with the Agals representing the Hung, the Veligs representing the Kurgans, and the Greylings and Vargs representing the Norskans. It is also the location of both the Palace of Princes and the Palace of Ruin. One thing we know about Sigvald is that Selesh made him multiple palaces, which were stacked on top of each other to sate Sigvald's desires. The Palace of Princess could well be this structure. Furthermore, Sigvald was mentioned to have come from a northern tribe, however its name and location are not known. The only description we have of it is that it was in the north of the Old World which is where the Palace of Princess is. In the year 211 of the 11th Phoenix King, having long felt aggravated that the folk of Ulfalon were renowned for more fulsome and golden locks than Sigvald, the prince sailed to Ulfalon and battled Princess Aldriot of Tyrannoch who used her chariots to eliminate his scouts and shadow warriors to launch night assaults on his encampment. Sigvald's forces, pressured and blinded, ultimately ended up in the Clothicu Highlands. This instantly tells us that Sigvald has been to Clothicu, however Sigvald could easily have landed further north in Crace, which is renowned for being a war-torn land due to the Dark Elves. While the coast of Clothicu is seen as treacherous to sail and inhabited by sea monsters, the assaults of the Shadow Warriors of Nagaroth and the Tyrannoch chariots from, guess what, Tyrannoch, <laughs> could also be used to lure Sigvald to those regions in a quest for vengeance. It is mentioned that Sigvald did however leave the battlefield and instead sailed to Bretonia to repay them for a particularly bad batch of wine that he tasted, and ultimately ended up in the Duchy of Paravon. He stayed there until the end times when he was summoned by Archaon to the Battle of Middenheim where he was first wounded by Krell and then killed by Frog. If you have stayed to the end of the video, thank you very much for watching and as always, if you have noticed something I have missed, please leave a message in the comments below. Like my last video on Colex on Eater, this video again was rather short as a large portion of Sigvald's journey is deep in the chaos waste beyond the borders of the Mortal Empires map, although I hope I have demonstrated that he does have some locations within the current Mortal Empires map. Again, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time.